Hi, and welcome to our matchmaker tutorial. A quick update on the last episode code. I split the um, waiting times by rank, so now the visualization is more helpful. Feel free to explore those changes by yourself. I'll leave a link to the codes in the description down below. As promised, we'll add the role today. This means that we'll support larger teams than just one player per team. Supporting larger teams comes with some challenges, and to keep it simple, I'll just have one role for all players in both teams. Our algorithm generates pairs of teams based on the pairs of players we already produced. Each team will be composed of five players. Our variable matched contains the list of matched players. These are players with the same rank. The processed variable is a pointer to the match list that keeps track of what part of the list we already consumed. Finally, the matched teams variable will store pairs of teams, each team being a list of five players. We check if we have enough pairs on the matched list to create two teams and then pass them to our create teams function. Then we increment our process pointer and repeat until we are done with our list. The create teams function will be very basic for now and just assign a member of a matched player pair to a team A and the other to team B. This guarantees that both teams will have the same rank distribution. To do that, we're gonna use the zip function from Python and the unpack operator. The unpack operator is an asterisk that we prepend to an iterator in Python and we'll extract all elements of the iterator as arguments to our zip function. Now we can store the output of the create uh, teams function into our match team variable. Let's see how the team matching looks like. We can observe that both teams have the same ranks. If team A has a platinum player, then team B will also have one platinum player. Let's run the rest of our code and see how our analytics look like. All values look similar to before. But now we also want to know how the rank distribution looks like for each team. Let's give a title to our rank diff chart. Now we can duplicate our rank difference chart and modify it so that we can look into the difference in ranks within a team. We only need to consider one of the matched teams since one team will mirror the other team player's ranks. We find the highest and lowest rank in our team and subtract them. This will give us the player rank gap in this team. The possible rank differences are between 0 and 6, where 0 means all players have the same rank and 6 when a bronze player is in the same team as a grandmaster player. The team rank difference chart really shows us a problem. We have teams where players are up to six ranks apart, so a bronze player meets a grandmaster in the same team, and most teams have players three ranks apart. We can do better, and we will in the next episode. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.